In this video I'm going to show one possible winning strategy on Narcos Island from the side of the blue team. Actually uh, there is no clear winning strategy on any of the map, but the outcome depends how the friendly and the opposing team react to certain situations. Rule of thumb, keep alive your MHQ long as possible and defend the already captured sectors. And last but not least, do not use helicopters for transporting troops. Ok, it's maybe not true for all the map and situations. But most of the cases, the team which start to use helicopters is going to lose. It's because transporting troops with helicopters takes a lot of time, a lot of risk, because it's very easy to hit a helicopter with an anti-air missile or they are going to shoot the guys when they are landing. So use helicopters uh, only when it's really needed. One more thing, it's always good to listen to someone with more experience and get organized. For example, move together in teams. And try not to shoot your friendlies, that helps a lot. Alright, let's move on to the topic why we are here now. The two key sectors is Narcoscom and military base. To make connection to these sectors, first you have to capture Tuvanaka, a small village at the seaside. To get there, buy a truck at the base and use the road or fast travel to heliport and travel from there. No need to wait until the MHU get into position. Capturing Tuvanaka quickly is critical. In the village, the capture zone is surrounded with small houses providing good cover. Make sure the capture it at the maximum of 5. Also be prepared enemy presence. An experienced enemy force is going to try to make some mess there. No more than 8 to 10 people is enough to capture. The rest of the players get organized into two free teams and move to Narcoscom and military base. Prepare for the next attack wave. Also, it's good to try to search and destroy the enemy MHQ. Two other people has to move out the MHQs. One to the south side of Narcoscom and the second to the north side of Tuvanaka. At this point, good to stay behind and defend both of the MHQs until Tuvanaka is captured. Once Tuvanaka is captured, priority capture Narcoscom, a reinforced base on the top of a hill. Capturing the high ground will help to capture military base later. Also, it's easier to defend because enemy cannot rush with vehicles. Start the attack from the MHQ on the south and from Tuvanaka using vehicles. Move MHQ from the north of Tuvanaka to military base or north of Narcoscom. It's depending how the capture goes at Narcos. Very important to defend Tuvanaka. If things not going well at Narcos, stop the attack and concentrate defending to break the momentum of the opposing forces. Once Tuvanaka is safe, build up your attack again. Next area after Narcoscom is military base. Use the MHQ on the west side and vehicles from Narcos. From Narcos some of the troops can stop the reinforcement from checkpoint and firing range. When both Narcoscom and military base is captured, start to attack guerrilla camp. The defending forces from Tuvanaka can move forward and set up a new line of defense. Once guerrilla camp is captured, move into firing range. At this point, the enemy probably collapsed and started to rage quit. In the last phase, wait until the sudden death starts and just defend firing range. So that's all. As I mentioned at the beginning of the video, there is no clear winning strategy. It's all about how the team adjusts. I hope you find my video interesting and soon we will meet at one of the AUTV server. For now, cheers and have fun.